And so we're just waiting and there we go. We are live. Nomad X family, we are back on the live streams and today we're here with Zach Benson and I am pretty nervous because we have another superstar here on the show and is he's not just like a superstar no oh my gosh he's a superstar in instagram which is one of the platforms i am personally kind of like i i don't want to say i struggle the most with but i have always a little fight personally with instagram and today we have an absolute expert here someone who masters the platform to perfection and i couldn't be any any happier he's been featured in all the big big medias out there he works with all the big names out there and he makes everything happen when it comes to living the dream and traveling for free so zach benson thank you very much for being a part today i'm super stoked to have you here hey thank you brother thank you for having me excited to be here it's awesome, bro. It's awesome. I'm super, super, super stoked. So, Zach, just to start with and uh, to have a proper intro because we want to make sure it's not me talking because I always talk, 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 and I'm all over the place. Yeah. Give us a little introduction. Tell us a little bit more about yourself. What's your story and why? Why Instagram? Why do you choose Instagram and why are you leveraging this platform so well? Yes. Yeah, so... It all starts back when, so I was born in South Korea, right? So, and then adopted by my parents in the States and grew up in this place called Iowa. So here I am now in the basement of my parents' house in Iowa being quarantined. But, you know, growing up for me was hard because uh, here's this Asian dude growing up in the middle of Iowa, like farms and white people. And, you know, I spoke different, I had a speech impediment. So I couldn't say the letter R until I was in my twenties. So. I was a very shy guy. I was always getting in trouble, getting bad grades, and life wasn't looking too good for me until I found dance. And dance became like my passion, man. It became something I just really loved and it's something I was good at. And I just went all in, right? And I, you know, started practicing and practicing and eventually made it on, you know, started a crew and started traveling the world, winning competitions. I eventually made it onto the TV show, So You Think You Can Dance. And that TV show just kind of kickstarted my, my career to help me teach dance all over the world. And towards the end of my career, I was making six figures wow. a month just teaching dance classes a few hours a week. And man, people were like, dude, you're living life, you're traveling, you're having fun. And so life was good until then in 2015, I fell during a performance and I hurt my back. And which ended my career. And the doctor came in and was like, Zach, I don't think you'll ever be able to dance again. You're going to have to have surgery. And, you know, that was that man. And then boom, from the top to the bottom, rock bottom in life. And I wasn't doing too well. And I, the same guy who got me into dancing called me up and was like, Zach, I know you're having a hard time. I know you're depressed, but listen, I got a big opportunity for you. Like me and my brother, we're making a ton of money on Instagram. Like you got to get in on this Instagram thing, man. And I was like, oh. all right, but this guy has never led me the wrong way. And so with the last $10,000 I had to my name, I invested in an Instagram account. And it was a 400,000 follower account. Spent the money. We used that account to grow other people's accounts. And rinsed and repeated the process. And fast forward today, Ollie, I mean, man, we have a 220 million network on Instagram. We're working with some of the biggest brands and people in the world, Russell Brunson, Robert Kiyosaki, Chris Carlton, they're all clients. So life has really changed, man. And I'm, you know, I'm here where I am now. Wow. This is, this is, this is, this is freaking awesome, bro. This is like completely overwhelming. You kind of like, you made it on Instagram just because of a situation which really puts you down and then you kind of like crawled out of it and you mastered a new skill now and to be very honest i didn't know about that yeah now i know all these freaking cool pictures from you where you do like all these really cool moves now i know why you got that shit down to earth bro because i was always like how is he doing it it's like he is like so super fit that yeah. is <laughs> that's awesome bro congratulations to that achievement and actually also yeah what you just said i know you you're working with the biggest biggest fucking names out there yeah. and um, you you became like super super famous 
let's go let's go a little bit more towards instagram because i we i know we have a lot of people here in the community they they definitely are like super interested into the platform what yeah. would you say what is instagram today what i mean like it was different five years ago what it is today what does it take these days to become good or successful on instagram for sure well i just 2020 right so the algorithms have gotten a lot smarter and the algorithms have changed so it's no longer super easy to just post and grow right those days right. long gone that was early 2012 13 14 um how a lot of people like now let me tell you this if you look at my personal instagram account zach vacay you're gonna see all of these travel pictures right because travel is it's my life, man. I, I feel, I just want to explore the world and, you know, see other countries and cultures, but it's all repost pictures, all repost videos. So it's not even like my content and how we grew the page from zero to now it's like almost 76,000 followers without spending like one single dime was all through this repost strategy. So what I'm telling you guys is that there's still a lot of like opportunity for you to grow your Instagram accounts for very little money and and for almost for free just using this repost strategy and what you do is you find other uh people that are creating viral content you're using their content on your page and giving them credit so that's the first step and then step two is you get into what's called engagement groups where everybody is liking and commenting on each other's posts throughout the day and now when you get enough likes and comments and you pair it up with a, a viral content, you have chance to go viral. And that's what gets you the, the reach, the impressions, the followers. And that's how you can still grow your pages today with almost like zero money. Zero, zero ad spend actually, because we just, we just had, we just had a question dropping in here in the comments. And the question is literally like, can I still grow my Instagram followers organically? So you are like, yes, that's possible, right? It is, it is possible. Now, like, let me tell you this, like we don't use any automation tools, no follow, unfollow, no story viewers. Like we, we say no to robots. We don't use that stuff because your accounts can get compromised and you could get banned and deleted from Instagram forever. So what I'm teaching you guys is yes, you can repost content Okay, you can curate content, you can create your own viral content, use engagement groups, use the right hashtags to still grow. Now, it's not going to grow as fast as before. So what we do now to kind of speed up the growth is we do shout outs. So we pair up with other influencers in our niche and industries and we do trades. We do a shout for shout. We do a like for like, a comment for comment. Mm -hmm. And we even sometimes pay these people well, for our clients, right? Um, we pay a bunch of influencers, like maybe a couple hundred or 300 to sh continually shout out the client every single day for 30 days until they get their followers. So to answer your question, it's a little bit of organic growth, but you definitely need to do some, I guess, semi-organic tactics and strategies to grow your accounts. Awesome, bro absolutely love it and i absolutely love the fact that you're like oh we're not doing the robots we're not doing the automation we're yeah. not kind of like beating the algorithm by cheating the algorithm i absolutely love that because for everyone who's followed me since a long time i'm i'm doing exactly the same on facebook i'm like no automation just like doing all organically and leverage the power of a network that's kind of like the way it should yeah. go Sure. Bro, I, I, I have I have a question. I have a question which which kind of like goes towards the, the same direction. You say we, we. So you're talking about your agency. Tell us a little bit more about that. What do we understand under we? Yeah, so my company is called a sistergram. So think of it as like your own personal virtual assistant that's just like hyper focused on your account, grinding on your account seven days a week, doing hundreds of to thousands of manual actions, everything from creating the content for your account, finding uh, optimized hashtags for your account, doing the engagement groups, posting for you, the whole works, right? And so 
that's really what we're famous for and known for is Instagram growth. I mean, now we do kind of expanded uh, our reach and we do PR. We can get people seen in tier one, tier two media publications. We can get them heard on podcasts that have millions of downloads and we get them known all over the place. But my company is called a Sistergram and now we're about 40 people strong. Awesome, bro. Awesome, man. Guys, I just I just dropped the link. I just dropped the link to Assistagram uh, in the comments. So if you guys want to know more about that, just drop in and check out the link. So Assistagram, who is your perfect client? Then? Because I know I know you you're working with the the big names out there, but your perfect client can someone can someone contact you who is like super on the beginning of his game, or what? What people are you targeting? I mean, everybody's got to start somewhere and everybody's got a story to share. And so the reason why I'm so passionate about this is because um, I feel like we give people, we help get them heard and seen, known all of all over Instagram. And I feel like my mission is to help just other people do more of what they love every single day, man, because by doing so, it makes the world a better place and it makes them happier. And then, you know, it just spreads, right? So we do have really high level premium packages for the, the big dogs, right? Uh, but we do also have s starter packages, you know, people that are just like, you know, starting out and, you know, have very little budget, but they want to do something on Instagram. So we have courses, we have other products that are very um, reasonable for people who are just like starting out. So you, you kind of like, you're, you're covering the whole range and that's kind of like what I love about as well. Um, there is no right or wrong. Everyone can drop in and become a part of your success. Going going back a little bit more towards Instagram and um, I, I just I just want to know, you know, like for, for someone who is starting off, because we have a lot of people who are starting off, um, like even in myself, I think my, my, my own Instagram account has somewhere something about five to six K followers. So that really proves I'm not too proactive on it. Then my business account has around 20 K followers, which is cool, but it's not really big. What, what would be like your main advice for someone who is dropping into the platform and really wants to make it happen? by himself the thing is is that you can only go so far by yourself with anything in life right now when you're first starting out it is very important to um research the right hashtags right finding hashtags that have smaller number of posts on them you know for example if like let's we're talking about travel if you type in the hashtag travel that has probably mm -hmm. over 200 million posts on it or something right it's something crazy mm -hmm. So the chances of you using that hashtag and showing up for that hashtag is like zero because maybe you only have a couple hundred or a thousand followers and your engagement is very low. You're never going to be able to get seen. So what I recommend is research hashtags that have smaller number of posts on them, right? So when you type in the mega hashtag travel, step one, type in a basic generic hashtag, scroll down mm -hmm. to the left and right, find hashtags that are related to that, that have maybe between 10 to 25,000 posts, 25 yeah. to 50,000 posts, and create multiple sets of hashtags, rotate them throughout the month, and see which ones perform the best, which ones give you more uh, followers and views and likes, and start there, right? But what I was saying is that you need a network to do this nowadays, right? You need, a, you need engagement groups. You need other people like working on the account to grow because mm -hmm. You know, you just can't do it by yourself. So the second piece of advice that I would give you, anybody who's really trying to take Instagram seriously, is to network on Instagram to find like-minded people um, that are aligned with like the type of content you post that resonate with your content and get into their engagement groups. Pay your way in, ask accounts that have bigger followings than you, how much do you charge to, to get into your engagement group or do you know any I can get into? or create your own, take initiative, reach out to other accounts that are bigger than you. Maybe you're 5,000 followers and reach out to people that have 20,000 followers and, and get everyone to like and comment on your posts and each other's posts and make it a mutually beneficial win-win. And that's really gonna help you guys see some traction. It's, it, it seems like it's, 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 it's pretty much like super simple, like do what you would do in real life 
if you want to network, right? If you want to network and you reach out to other people and, and, and build that network. So yes, you have to have a certain amount of leverage to get through that and to push that network. But on the other side, you just have to get done and do the work. And then obviously, as you said it right, get other people into that network, help helping you to leverage. It's a hustle, it's your brain, right? It's a lot of hard work. It takes- I, want, I wanted to hear that, the hustle. <laughs> but if you do the work and you continue to stay committed, you're gonna see some results. Awesome, bro. Absolutely loving it, loving it. Bro, the time is flying by and I always promise to keep it down to 15 and 20 minutes and we're already above 15 minutes. So there is kind of like, it seems like you're smashing one value bomb after the next. So first of all, thank you very, very much for doing this and so grateful to have you here today and to call you as one of our inner circle people going a little bit towards the end with that interview what what's going to be next what's your what's your forecast for instagram or should we all go on tiktok now or should we all stay on instagram what what, what are you expecting to happen next out there I say do both, right? It's like, and, and you, this goes with everything in life, right? If you're like working a full-time job right now or you're working remote, but working for another company, I mean, start your side hustle on the side and do both, right? So like Instagram, yeah, it's going to be here for a long, long time, right? TikTok, I mean, it's, I mean, I'm on TikTok, right? And I'm making moves there too. So I would say like focus your energy for now on, on Instagram. Um, but then also kind of dabble and play with TikTok as well. I mean, two is better than one. What, what about what, what about Facebook? Are you are you still doing Facebook or are you like now we go all, all in on, on Instagram? I'm very, I'm very active on Facebook as well. Like I would say I'm posting more personal content on my personal Facebook than I am on Instagram because there's two different strategies. My Instagram is just to get other people funneled into my travel um, academy and learn how i travel the world for free and monetize that as a travel blogger so i can just post reposted content and it's on autopilot my personal facebook i'm telling more personal stories i'm talking about times where i lost a big deal or i overcame a sickness overcame an addiction or you know and i tie it back into business and i would say that that is what's getting me uh, also a lot of new clients is my um my facebook posts so nice, cool. Yes, awesome, bro. I love it. There, there is one, one last thing I want to touch base on it, just to clarify that because you've been talking a lot about that. Is like traveling the world for free. It's something you use all the time in your terms. How does it work? How do you do it? Yeah. So in the past three years, I've gotten over um, seven hundred nights for free at some of the world's most luxurious hotels. Now, I'm not a, I don't feel like I deserve everything in free. I don't feel like I'm entitled, but I feel like I need to create a win-win. And I feel like I need to make these hotels and these companies that I work with better. And that's what's differentiated myself from, I guess, maybe some other influencers who only try to get away with bare minimum. I'm trying to feel like insane value stack, right? So positive Instagram posts, reviews on TripAdvisor, Facebook. I come in and do a training for their whole hotel, right? Teaching them about Instagram uh, growth and marketing. I give them videos and pictures. I mean, I'm doing like a dozen different things. And I think that's kind of differentiated myself and why I've gotten over 700 nights for free um, in the past three years. And so it's really just about creating a win-win doing your homework, doing your research, making that person feel loved and respected by the value that you offer uh, up first will get you, uh, take you a long ways. Awesome, I love it, bro. And I think that's kind of like, that was one of the main things like a few weeks ago when I was reading that about you and you were like, you had that, I don't know, it was a post, it was a campaign, something was out there and I was reading that, that's why I called you up because you were like, I'm doing this now because of Corona, I'm doing this for the hotels for free to give back. And yeah. I was like, that's fucking amazing and is exactly the way to go. Yeah, man, I mean, you gotta be grateful for the people that have helped you and helped you get where you're at. And I mean, it's just payback time, you gotta show the love too. <laughs> Awesome. I love it. You are, you're definitely living proof that it can 
be possible to travel the world for free, to leverage a platform to perfection, and then building an agency out of it and getting in touch with all the famous people out there and making it happen on so many levels. So, Jack, thank you very, very much for, for being a part of the show. I'm super, super grateful that you took the time to share your knowledge with us. One last question. What can we expect from you personally or business-wise in the next few months? Where do you go next? For sure. So, I mean, I'm writing this new book called Reach and we're going to impact over 2 billion people. And it's all about like how to connect with anyone, grow your audience and build a lifestyle business. So be on the lookout for that. Um, I got a lot of cool like people contributing their knowledge and wisdom as well. And man, yeah, I'm excited about it. It's going to be my first book and I hope that it'll help a lot of people. Perfect, man. Congratulations to that. And I wish you all the best and a lot of success. And I'm super, super stoked to see what's coming next. So thank you very much again for contributing. Thank you very much for sharing the knowledge. It was awesome, awesome to have you on the show. And yeah. I wish you all the best. I'm super stoked to keep following you and see what you're coming up with. And I'm really excited about the book, by the way. Hey, likewise, bro. Thanks for having me on, man. Keep it up, too. I uh, see you making well, moves. <laughs> We're making moves as you do because we're learning from the best. So in this case, bro, thank you very much again and stay safe. And we're going to catch up very soon. All right. Sounds good. Bye-bye. Peace.